Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel video tutorials. In this video, I'll be demonstrating binary logistic regression, which is used to analyze the relationship between one binary dependent variable and multiple independent numeric and or discrete variables. It is used to discover the relationship between the variables and create the empirical equation shown on screen. This equation can be used to predict an event probability y value for a given set of input x values. Statistical tests of hypothesis and odds ratios are provided for the model coefficients. The odds ratios identify change in likelihood of the event for one unit change in x. An example application for medical research would be y equals disease, in yes or no, and the x is age, smoker, number of years smoking, and weight. The model coefficient p-values would indicate which x's are significant, and the odds ratios would provide the relative change in risk for each unit change in x. For this video, we will analyze a sample data set called customer data. To open the data, click Sigma Excel, Help, Sample Data, and then find the file customerdata.xlsx. Our Y will be discrete satisfaction, where the values have been coded such that an overall satisfaction score of greater than or equal to 3.5 is considered a 1, or satisfied customer, and scores less than 3.5 are considered a 0. Click Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, Regression, Binary Logistic Regression. Select Set Discrete, click Binary Response Y. Select Responsive to Calls and Ease of Communications. Click Continuous Predictors X. Select Customer Type and click Categorical Predictors X. Note that Response Count and sample size should be used when each record contains both the number of occurrences along with associated sample size, but this will not be used here. Click OK. The likelihood ratio p-value of less than 0.05 tells us that the model is significant. The p-values for the coefficients in the parameter estimates table confirm that responsive to calls and ease of communications are significant. The p-value in walled estimates for categorical or discrete predictors table tells us that customer type is not significant here. You may have noticed that customer type 1 is not displayed in the parameter estimates table. This is the hidden reference value for customer type. Categorical predictors must have one level selected as a reference value. Sigma Excel sorts the levels alphanumerically and selects the first level as the reference value. Now we will rerun the binary logistic regression, but remove customer type as a predictor. Press F3 or click Recall Sigma Excel dialog to recall the last dialog. Remove customer type by highlighting customer type and double clicking, or by pressing the Remove button. Clicking OK will provide the binary logistic regression model without customer type as a predictor. The odds ratios in the parameter estimates table tells us that for every unit increase in responsive to calls, we are 11.7 times more likely to obtain a satisfied customer. For every unit increase in ease of communications, we are 13.3 times more likely to obtain a satisfied customer. McFadden's pseudo R-squared mimics the R-square found in linear regression. This value varies between 0 and 100% but it's typically much lower than the traditional R-squared value. A value of less than 20% indicates a weak relationship, 20 to 40% indicates a moderate relationship, and greater than 40% indicates a strong relationship. Here we have an R-squared value of 66%, indicating a strong relationship. This is also confirmed with the percent correctly predicted value of 96%. The Pearson, Deviance, and Hosmer-Leem show goodness of fit tests 
are used to confirm if the binary logistic model fits the data well. P-values of less than 0 0.05 for any of these tests indicate a significant lack of fit. Here the hosmer leem show test is indicating a lack of fit. Residuals analysis will help us to see where the model does not fit the data well. The measures of association are used to indicate the relationship between the observed responses and the predicted probabilities. Larger values for Goodman Kreskel Gamma, Sommers D, and Kendall's Tau indicate that the model has better predictive ability. Cohen's rule of thumb says less than 0.3 is weak, greater than 0.5 is strong. The residuals report is given on the sheet binary logistic residuals. Three types of residuals are provided, Pearson, standardized Pearson, and deviance. The standardized Pearson residual is most commonly used and is best displayed in a run chart. To create a run chart, click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Run Chart. Select standard Pearson residual as the numeric data variable Y. Click OK. Any standardized Pearson residual value that is less than negative 3 or greater than positive 3 is considered extreme and should be investigated. There are three such outliers here, rows 24, 67, and 77 in the residuals table. The positive 3.4 value indicates that the predicted event probability was low, 0 0.08, but the actual result was 1. The negative 6.6 .6 value indicates that the predicted event probability was high, 0.98, but the actual result was zero. The large negative residuals have high responsive to calls and ease of communications, but dissatisfied customers. The reasons for these discrepancies should be explored further, but we will not do so in this video. Reselect the binary logistics sheet and scroll over to display the event probability calculator. This calculator provides a predicted event probability for given values of x, in this case, the probability of a satisfied customer. This calculator uses the binary logistic model and ties everything together to make it very easy to predict the event probability. If responsive to calls and ease of communications are both equal to 3, the probability of a satisfied customer is only 0.07, or 7%. If responsive to calls and easy communications are both equal to 5, the probability of a satisfied customer is 0.9995 or 99.95%. Note that if the calculator includes predictors that are categorical or discrete, as with our original analysis which included customer type, enter a 0 or a 1 to denote the selected level, as shown. Here we are selecting customer type 2. This concludes the Sigma Excel video tutorial for binary logistic regression. For more videos, visit us at www.sigmaxcel.com or join us on our YouTube page. Thank you for watching.